on Apple technology. It runs on web objects running on Mac OS X server. So we really do eat our own dog food at Apple. <laughs> so we've got these four foundation internet assets. Let's build on them. So let's get started. We start with Apple.com because we're getting almost 10 million viewers each week. What do we do? The first thing we're doing is we're adding a tab bar on the top of Apple.com so that we can get viewers more easily and readily to the places they like to go. Under the Apple logo will be the home page that you're very familiar with on Apple.com. But we've elevated the store to a tab right next to it, as well as QuickTime and support. These are the most highly trafficked areas of Apple.com. Support, QuickTime, and the store. All right on the top on every single page of Apple.com. But there's three new tabs in the middle. What are they? iReview, iTools, and iCards. Let's find out. iReview. Have you ever helped somebody get started in computing, maybe set up an iMac for them, they want to get on the internet. They find a way on the internet, but then they don't know where to go. Where can you point them that's going to tell them where, what's good? There's nowhere on the entire internet that's got great reviews of websites that you can trust. And that's what iReview is. It is quality website reviews and rankings by Apple. They're fantastic. We've got 250 reviews in today, 250 different websites. We'll have 1,000 by April, and we'll be continuing on that ramp. We're reviewing them and ranking them. And Mac users can append their own reviews to our reviews so we can involve the community. We're going to do for website reviews what Amazon has done for CDs and books in terms of being able to read great reviews, objective reviews, and then look at the user reviews. And you can look at our rankings. And we average all the user review rankings to give you an average user review ranking as well. Totally unique on the web. And we think it's going to be very hot. Not just for beginners, but actually for all of us. Because we're all looking for websites in a category that we know nothing about. We need a trusted advisor. And that's what iReview, we hope, will be. The second big thing we're adding is iCards. What is iCards? It is the apple of internet greeting cards. Right? Greeting cards are one of the most popular things people do on the Internet. Now, what does the apple of Internet greeting cards mean? Well, let's look at the other guys for a minute. This is taken right off the most popular greeting card site on the Internet. I won't name names. But, you know, they spared no expense. They used several colors. It's incredible. <laughs> and here's another one. You know, may your new year be something. Here's a third. Happy New Year. Now, th these things make me slightly embarrassed to be a human. <laughs> we can do better than this. So what does it mean to be the apple of internet greeting card sites? Well, we have gone out and licensed some great artwork. And we have written some software. You can type in your messages. We anti-alias it. We put it next to the cards, and we send them. And you just we've got phenomenal stuff. <laughs> Phenomenal stuff. So this is what it means to be the apple of internet greeting card sites. Now, when these cards are sent, they're sent in email. They show up in email. And you can view them in line. They're not an attachment. You don't have to go to a website to read them. They're right in your email. So iReview and iCards, I'd like to show them to you now. Here is the new Apple.com right here. And um, you can see the store right here. Here's QuickTime. Here's Support. It's all right there. You can just, it's really fantastic. You know, back to the home page here. Look at all these subheads we've got. We've got Hot News right here, Submenu. We've got Hardware. 
Much easier to find things now, software, etc. So let me go to iReview. This is iReview. Boom. We've got 15 different categories that these reviews are in. We've got some feature reviews, and we have the most popular reviews, which is updated constantly, uh, showing what, uh, what our viewers are doing and what ones they're looking at. So let's go to movies. When you go into a category, you'll see all the reviews in that category, right? There they are. Just bump up the size a little bit. And you can see the stars. Here's a whole line of them here, right? Boom. And you can go to any one of these places if you want to. Let me go to a few others here just to show you what the different sections look like. Each one has a theme. Right? Let me go to news here as an example. And uh, again, there's 14 different reviews for different news sites. Uh, I love the New York Times. Let's go see what they've got here. So again, here's what a specific review looks like. Overall rating up there. Average member rating you see right there. So they get four stars for an average member rating. And I can bump this up a little bit here. You can read the review. And um, at the bottom, there are two buttons. Take me to the site and submit a review. So, and I can, by the way, I can sort these uh, different reviews. Here's the member reviews, right? A bunch of different ones down here. And um, so let's go ahead and go to that site. Take a second. We're going to the New York Times site right now. So this is the New York Times for today. And um, here we are. You can see that. And we can actually review this site if we want to. So I can say review this site. And uh, I get this. You know, is it a dud, ho-hum, good, very good? I think it's outstanding. I love the New York Times. You can write a summary. You can fill out a few other things. And you can just submit your review. Isn't that great? And um, when you're done, you can just return to 